Hi, I'm Debbie Ellickson for your Publishing Minute. Let's talk about copyright and the internet. A lot of times we'll find something on the internet, copy and paste it, and pull it into our manuscripts or blogs or whatever. And we don't, if you don't cite where you got that information from, that is a copyright infringement. How you handle that is you just say where that came from. So if you're pulling a paragraph or a sentence, let's say, you would just put in brackets behind it what website or who authored that sentence or paragraph. Or what you can also do is maybe paraphrase it and rewrite that um, idea into your own words but even still citing where you got the idea from. Ideas are not copyright but it's how you present those ideas so you could take everybody in your Facebook uh, or in your email address book and you can all write the same story about the same angle, the same the same thing. Each one of you is going to put different words on the page to describe it. So it's your words that make it copyright. And also with photographs. Photographs are also copyright materials. So we, while we do share photographs from the web often, but when you are publishing in, uh, in a book, in certain platforms you you do even when you are sharing on the internet it is wise to cite where you receive that photograph from a lot of times it's hard to trace them because they get circulated over and over again through the internet but in essence if you are going to use that photograph to make money off of so say you put it in a book where you intend to sell that book that is where you run into copyright infringement. So you have to actually, it doesn't matter how hard it is to find the initial photo photographer, you need to hunt them down and try and get permission to use that photograph if you are publishing for profit. For your Publishing Minute, I'm Debbie Ellickson.